What's up guys, ViperFPV here, and I have some FPV news today to talk about. Um, I was actually browsing the internet and noticed that Emacs apparently, um, let me pull up this information, uh, but it says, Dear valued customers, as we navigate these difficult times together, Emacs has done our best to continue to supply products to all of our customers and the same affordable cost as always. As you may or may not be aware, already informed, there is currently a critical global chipset and material shortage, which in turn causes a major gap in the supply chains across all Emacs products. To combat this and make sure that we can still produce products for our customers, the Emacs procurement team has worked day and night finding any possible source to obtain the materials and chipset necessary to continue. Uh, the chipset supply issue is currently completely overwhelmed by demand, which in turn has caused the prices of these components to increase very significantly in a short time to exorbitant prices. When the cost of these components increases significantly, it also means that pr production costs for Emacs products and also increased at the same rate. Emacs has held off from increasing the cost on our products to the end user for as long as absolutely possible. However, due to the continuation of the shortage, we must protect the health of our company so that we may continue to support all current and future customers with Emacs experiences. Um, so this is pretty much their entire product line. It's increased by about $20 to $30 depending on the product. Um, even the Emacs Eco motors are going up about 2 bucks. besides the 1404 motors. Um, those are going to be staying the same. Um, and what I actually did is I went on to Amazon to compare some prices. Um, and let me pull up that information here because it looks like the increase is actually happening now. Let me pull up this here. Um, iFlight Sus uh, Sussex Mini 40 amp 2 to 6 S ESC 32 bit BLE 32 4 in 1 ESC. So, all a lot of the 32 bit 4 in 1 ESCs, I've seen a huge increase in. Um, so now, some of the products I'm going to show you guys, some of them haven't even changed price. So, I, if I was going to be looking at building a build or building a quadcopter in the next, you know, month or two, I probably would try to want to stock up on parts now before you want to get caught and everyone has a price increase. So let's look at this one here. We have on January 11th, I mean, pretty much the, the price has been about $46 forever. And then all of a sudden, February kind of dropped down. And then all of a sudden, end of March, shot right up to $59. So that's about, what, a $16 increase or so? $17 increase um, and this is just one example um, this is using analytics from Amazon to look at prices over a period of time let me go ahead and show you this other one here this one's an even more significant increase this is a, a iFlight Sussex X 50 amp 2 to 6 S ESC this thing has gone up to $75 from $47.99 over a course of just a month or so as you can see the price has increased dramatically now, not all of them are this way, because look at this one. This one has stayed the same price. It's a 32-bit ESC, fly color, 32-bit, 4-in-1. It's nice ESC, actually. Um, 69.98. I mean, it hasn't changed in price at all. Um, but I would definitely see in the next month or two, we're probably going to be seeing some increases. It's definitely on ESC prices, um, maybe even on flight controllers, since they are using you know a microcontroller. Um, but I wanted to bring this guys to you, all your attention, uh, just so you guys are aware that um, I was actually building, attempting to build this thing here. This is my, uh, this is my budget build, um, and I actually upgraded it with the Eco Two motor. So, unfortunately, um, I don't know if I'm going to wait on this video or if I'm going to keep just work on it, and um, because the prices are going to go up on everything, so I'm not going to be able to meet that. $120 budget build um, with the current times. I might never be able to because they might just never bring their prices back down. I've seen a lot of that happen too in the industry where they'll bring their prices up and they never come back down. Um, but that's really all I have for you guys today. Um, if you appreciate watching this video, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do tons of FPV related content. Um, but this is Viper FPV and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.